It has taken me 40 years of study and 71 years of life to get to the position that I'm going to relate to you right now. So do I expect you to grasp this position? To understand it? No, not at all. But it's a very deep level that I just came up with for myself. And so I want to preserve this in my videos. What I want to talk about is the hidden bet within the letter pay. When you write the letter pay, there's a bet within it. The whiteness relates to the uh, letter bet. So I extended this. I'm the first one to really say this, that, ah, in the word Bereshis, there's an invisible, large pay that surrounds that letter bet. So what I did here, I wrote out Bereshis. And now I'm going to write in the letter pay that surrounds that letter bet. You know, the letter pay is one of the most mystical letters. Let me just show you. So now there's that letter pay and within it the letter bet. You see? And we'll do some work with that in a minute. But the letter pay itself is the gematria of the letter pay is 80. And the gematria of Yesod is 80. So pay represents Yesod. Also, they say I, in, in Sefer uh, uh, Bahir that the bet is closed on three sides and open in the front. And those are the two openings. The mouth and the sexual organ. So this relates to that. And that's what it means by the pay. Because the pay also has two endings here. The one in the center is the mouth and one here is the sexual organ. And one can also think of this, remember I'm doing the autofellatio, um, one can think of this as the prophetic position of the head between the knees, which humps over and looks like a pay, like the letter pay. And that's what the yesod is all about. Because there are two levels of yesod. There's the level of the mouth, and then there's the level of the uh, 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 bris. The level of the mouth corresponds more to da'as, and in a tremendous gematria that I've done, I call it va da'as, which makes 480, which is the same as sitra akra. And there's a great relationship between the letter pei and the letter vav, because both in the atbash and the albam, <coughs> the letter pei is the letter Vav. <coughs> in both Atbash and Albam, it's the, it's the sixth letter in both, which corresponds to the middle. There are five on one side, five on the other side, and six on the middle, and then on the bottom, five on one side, five on the other side, and the six in the middle. And so those 22 letters are divided five, then the vav, and then the other five, and then on the bottom five, and then the pay, and then the other five. 
So the Vav and the Pei are the two middle letters in both. This is what's so miraculous. Both al and at And the gematria of those two together, Pei and Vav, is 86, which is Elohim, which is the, the uh, creation word that we find in the Bereshis terminologies. This is a very deep issue. The concept of the letter Pei, which I just want to tell you, is Pei Aleph, which we'll bring in a little bit later. Where the din of the letter Pei is Aleph itself. That's how you spell the letter Pei. Pei Aleph. So what we have here is a, a lot of other things that there's a relationship between the Pei and the Vav. And remember that the Vav is also the bris. It's the sixth of the lower, of the Zir Anpin, of the lower seven Sapphiros. And it's the, it's the link So there's that. And now the pay, the pay itself. Remember that I've done a, a short video, or a long video, on the metzitza pay, the sucking of the blood in the bris, which is the third thing of the bris. There's mila, paria, and then metzitza pay with the mouth. And that r r relates to the pay. Of course, pay and pay. It's mouth. And, the, and, and, you know, the man is called a speaking animal because it's the mouth that makes the man. Then this talk makes the man. Also, the idea of the oral Torah is the, is the idea of the pay. And so now we take a look at the Bereshis with the invisible pay added. Now everybody knows that the gematria of Bereshis is, six, is 913. When one has 913 on the um, uh, uh, 913 now we're going to add the invisible pay the pay that's really there that's 80 that's 993 and everybody knows that the word Bereshis has six letters and it's one of the strange words because it has six letters most letters most end at five but with the invisible pay, now we have seven letters. So we have 613 plus 80, that's 900. Excuse me, 913. Did I say 613? Beratius is 913. We have, everybody knows that. I think I said 613, but I'm into something. 913 plus 80 is 993 plus seven letters with the invisible pay. That's 1,000. And that 1,000 now is the Aleph which comes before everything. Remember that there's an Aleph before Bet, and the little leg on the Bet is supposed to relate back to the Aleph. And strangely enough, 
an Aleph is a thousand. That's why I'm saying it. So it's 993 plus seven letters equals 1,000, which is the Aleph. And as I said before, the pay is spelled pay Aleph. The din of pay is Aleph. And so the Aleph here is actually the din. And another way that we find this is that in the letter bet itself, it's dinam. That's how you spell it. Is yud tov. We'll do this another time. It, the dinam, the aleph. The Aleph is the din of the essence of creation. There's a essence in a, a higher level than even the Aleph, where the Aleph, the Aleph is the manifestation in the ta, in the wor, uh, world of Tohu of The, uh, uh, the higher levels of, of, of God himself in Atzmut's level that reveals an Aleph as its din and then reveals the Bet which is incorporated in the Pei in the invisible pay, which is its yesod. Another wild thing is that the pay is 80, and that's the years, the years of Moshe, Moses, was the, how old he was when he left Mitzrayim. And this is all in the letter pay, the invisible pay, the oral pay. And the pay that gives the matzitza pay to the bris is found as the invisible pay on the bet. And this seventh letter, barashis, shis is six in Aramaic. The seventh level created the sixth, six things, and created the six letters. This all comes out of the letter pay, which is found, the bet is found as the internal level of the letter pay, hidden within this invisible pay that surrounds. So these are pretty deep things here. I have some things written down here, but I've, that's about it. Remember that the world was supposed to be created with dinam, as a singularity, dinam. And that was the olive. But we're not strong enough to accept the dinam. So we need, we needed hesed and, and din. And that's the bet. We needed right and left. And so there's an invisible pay that surrounds the letter bet of Bereshi. And it's number 80 is added to 913. And you get 993 plus now seven letters because there's six letters in Bereshis. And the invisible pay gives 1,000, which is LF. And that's the Aleph. 
that precedes creation, but is not the essence itself. The essence is found in what created the dinam of the Aleph. And how one processes this, manifests this, or lives accordingly to this is something that we'll have to see. But in all your years of studying and listening, you haven't heard this. So let's see what it does for you. I will say this, that this is the day after Pesach, And that Pesach certainly relates to the letter He and to the 80, age of 80 that Moshe, Moshe got out of Mitzrayim. And how this all relates to the bris, which is the letter Bet, and is found in the word voracious. Bet, Resh, Yud, Tov. And the other two letters are Esh, Aleph, Shin. This is the covenant fire anyway this is found in texts in meditations and I hope to proceed with some more commentary in this domain